Hi guys, welcome to Sugarland Animal Hospital. My name is Dr. Mike. Unfortunately, uh, this time of year, we're seeing a lot of these guys hopping around. This is a cane toad, if you haven't seen one. Uh, they are everywhere in Bundaberg, and you've probably got one in your backyard. These guys are not native to Australia. They were introduced about 70 years ago, 1935. And they were actually brought here to uh, combat cane beetles. Unfortunately, they were horribly unsuccessful at this because cane beetles sort of like the top of the cane and these guys just don't climb very much. Cane toads, they have a lifespan of about five years and they breed twice a year. These guys can lay up to 8,000 to 35,000 eggs a year. So they're able to breed like crazy. So we're seeing a lot of these. We've had a few cases in and unfortunately last week we lost one of our patients to cane toad toxicity. So I'm really here today to tell you about these guys and how dangerous they can be. All stages of the cane toad life cycle can be poisonous. The tadpoles, the little baby toadlets you see hopping around in the grass and these adults particularly, they carry um, these toxins within them that are actually what we call cardiotoxins. They attack the heart, um, they cause all sorts of horrible symptoms. Cane toads have a poison gland here just above uh, the shoulder, just behind the eye there, and this can secrete this white uh, tacky poison. Dogs usually get envenomated when they, when they lick the toad or try and mouth the toad, and the toad will release this as a defense mechanism. These toxins are cardiotoxins, they also have a little bit of adrenaline in them, and some of the toxins actually cause a bit of hallucination. We know some dogs like to actually chew the old dead cane toads and they still get a bit of a fix from that. Pick up any dead or dried toads in your yard. So what are the symptoms of cane toad toxicity? This cardiotoxin will cause a rapid heartbeat. You usually see your dogs salivating like crazy. They're usually really drooly, they're unsettled. Um, you may have things such as convulsions, even paralysis, if they get a really big dose. Um, sometimes you may see some redness in the gum and uh, the, the, the cane toad toxin can be quite irritant. So what do you do if your dog has mouthed the cane toad or you suspect that uh, it's had a mouthful from the drooling going on? So what do you do when your pets accidentally uh, mouth the cane toad and you're starting to see that salivation moving out. Well, if you think it's a serious envenomation, you should ring your vet quick smart. Sometimes you don't have a lot of time uh, before the symptoms start really ramping up. Um, what we're worried about is heart failure and this is what happened to one of our cases last week. So we've got beautiful Lucy here. We're gonna uh, use her as a guinea pig. So Lucy's volunteered to let us show you how to treat your dog if they've been envenomated. Just remember this toxin is very sticky and resin-like resin and it sticks to the roof of the patient's mouth uh, and the gum. So you've got to wipe it. So we usually get a cloth um, that has been dampened in the sink and make sure that you rub along the gums and just wipe that toxin very gently and firmly out of the gums. So I usually get onus to get the, get the cloth and really rub that, those gums firmly. Rinse your cloth a few times. If you can, if your pet will let you, make sure you see if you get a, a little bit in the roof of the mouth there as well, and the tongue. So these are where they've mouthed this cane toad and found uh, this resin that's highly toxic. So make sure you get to wipe that out. Now, please don't hose your dog's mouth out. This can cause all sorts of trouble. They can breathe in the water and get uh, pneumonias and things like that. A simple wipe with a moistened cloth should be sufficient. And again, just re-emphasizing, if, if your dog's had a serious envenomation or even swallowed a cane toad, 
please get them to your nearest vet as soon as possible. Some pets don't like their mouth being looked at or played with, so if you're struggling with this, just see your nearest vet.